Good morning everyone in today's class we are going to study about the PUC first year unit number 3 the basic concepts of political science in that we have already completed the sovereignty and law in today's concept we are going to study about the one of the important and essential concept for the development of the person that is the liberty so in today's class we are going to study in detail about the what is the meaning of the liberty what are its as, aspects and what are the features of the liberty in that we are going to study our first point that is what is the liberty so basically the term liberty is taken from the latin word liber which means the freedom freedom means a person can do whatever he want without any restriction this is called as liberty now in that we have two concepts means two aspects that is one is positive aspects another one is negative aspects so first we are going to see what is the positive aspects in in that positive aspects was developed a later half of 19th century where everybody is given equal opportunity to develop their personality ha huh? positive liberty means a person can do anything with some restriction is called as positive aspects of the liberty this concept was developed by t h green lasky and breaker now negative it implies that an individual can do anything without any restriction this is known as negative aspects of the liberty every man is free to do what he likes provided he does not interfere the freedom of others negative aspect denotes that every person is free to do something without interfering the freedom of the others this concept was developed by the thinkers like Thomas Hobbes, John Locke, and Adam Smith, J. S. Mill, and others. Now we are going to see what are the different kinds of the liberty. There are certain kind of uh, liberties such as natural, civil, economic, and national. now we are going to look into the features of the liberty in that first one liberty does not mean absence of restriction second one liberty means rational absence of restrictions third one liberty helps in the development of the personality fourth one it has two different concepts or aspects like positive and negative fifth one liberty is universal means the concept of liberty is applicable to all sixth one liberty is dynamic seventh one liberty is only given in a society eighth one domic democracy protects the liberty so this is all about the meaning definition aspects and the features of the liberty 
uh, will end this section here if you have any doubts please be free to ask your doubts in the comment section i will clear your doubts in my upcoming section and please do subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos in the upcoming section see you all tomorrow with the new concept till then take care and stay safe